Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. Written by Jess Keating. Illustrations by Marta Alvarez McGinns. It was Saturday and Eugenie wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp, salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish. She wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugenie pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like to swim with her sharks? To breathe underwater with gills of her own? More than anything, she wanted to find out. When the summer came, Eugenie's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. Stuffing sticky gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugenie dove down, down, down. The salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars speckled the pebbled sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean current. To others, sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugenie knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugenie decided to learn everything she could about them. This time into books, whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugenie wanted to know about them all. She also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugenie's notebooks filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and on the margins of her pages. At home, Eugenie's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her own. A 15 gallon tank was much too small for sharks, but Eugenie saved her allowance to buy guppies, clownfish, and coral red snails. It felt as big as an ocean in her room. Their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory, and a sanctuary. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugenie what to do. Forget those sharks. Be a secretary. Be a housewife. Eugenie wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the oceans. And they said sharks were mindless monsters. Eugenie knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. So again, Eugenie dove. She plunged into every course she could. Her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grow, how they behave, and how they were put together, both inside and out. Despite all of the people who didn't believe in her, Eugenie was becoming one of the smartest students in her field. Even after she earned her degree, many still doubted her. But Eugenie's work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugenie finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugenie collected hundreds of fish, including three new species that had not been discovered before. Red Sea Sand Diver, Barred Xenia Pipefish, Volcano Triplefin. On a research mission exploring the Palau Islands, Eugenie was diving alone when she encountered her first ever 
wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. In Isla Mujeres, she dispelled the myth that sharks must keep moving to stay alive when she swam through dark caves, still and silent, full of resting sharks. Eugenie's daring heart grew bolder with each dive. Soon, they began to call her Shark Lady. Eugenie had proven she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the oceans. As her courage grew, she began to love and understand her beloved sharks more and more. But she never forgot many still believe that sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputation, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugenie knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugenie fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugenie was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months after. Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. Eugenie Clark Timeline May 4th, 1922. Eugenie is born in New York. Her mother, Yumiko, was of Japanese descent. Her American father, Charles Clark, passed away before Eugenie was two years old. 1931. Eugenie visits the New York Aquarium at Battery Park and sees living sharks for the first time. Eugenie's mother buys her a 15-gallon aquarium as an early Christmas present. 1942. Eugenie earns her Bachelor of Arts in Zoology from Hunter College. 1946. Eugenie earns her Master's Degree in Zoology. 1950. Eugenie becomes Dr. Eugenie Clark, earning her Doctorate in Zoology and a scholarship to study fish in the Red Sea. 1953. Eugenie publishes her first book, Lady with a Spear. 1959, Eugenie discovers the belted sandfish, a species of fish that can change its sex in as little as 10 seconds. Eugenie's groundbreaking work on lemon sharks is published. She is the first scientist to train sharks to push a target or ring a bell to receive food. 1968 to 1969. Eugenie becomes a professor of zoology at the University of Maryland. Eugenie publishes a second book of her adventures called The Lady and the Sharks. Eugenie begins writing columns and articles for National Geographic magazine. Eugenie discovers the Moses soul produces toxins that repel sharks. 1973, Eugenie enters an underwater cave in the Yucatan Peninsula, full of resting sharks. She is the first to study them. 1981, Eugenie hitches a ride on the back of a whale shark. 1983, Egypt's first national park, the Ras Mohammed National Park, is established partly due to Eugenie's work in the area. She is a strong advocate for conservation 
and loves the beauty and diversity of the Red Sea. 1986, Eugenie dives deep on her first trip in a submersible. In her life, she will make over 70 submersible dives to explore the ocean. These trips take her up to 12,000 feet deep. 1999, Eugenie moves to Sarasota with her family and begins working at the Moat Marine Laboratory. 2004, Eugenie injures her ankle on a diving expedition and is seen by doctors. They discover she has lung cancer and she is treated with chemotherapy. May 2014, Eugenie celebrates her 92nd birthday by scuba diving with a group of divers in Jordan and Israel. February 25th, 2015, Eugenie Clark passes away in her home in the company of her family. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. See you later, alligator.